What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off where we left off, uh, we have two armies assaulting St. Petersburg. And this is pretty important because it helps us cut off or significantly reduce the flow through of Russian forces um, into continental Europe. We do have these two armies to the south which will not be taking part. Um, but what I mainly want to shut down on is the number of forces that are probably moving around in this, this area of Finland that we can't currently see. So, without further ado, let's crack on. So we've got this army with my howitzers leading up the assault first. Shame I can't do any swapping around in this area. So it's probably just in case things go horribly wrong. I'll probably want these guys up first leading the charge. Although I doubt it will, because this army does have lots of uh, depleted troops. So let's attack. So then we're, we're going to be along the prospect of defeating the Russian menace which will be quite an interesting interesting time uh, interesting time to be an American be, uh, because well really we've also got our armies heading uh, to the south quite rapidly to engage the Mughal Empire as well so I, I don't know what uh, I don't know quite know what's going to end up happening my chain of thought there sorry about that okie dokie so let's deploy Six pounder horse artillery. So I'm probably gonna have to focus on. I don't know if I did something like this. How it's is up front. Then a number U. So the 12 pounders, it's the 12 pounder, pretty good quick climb shot range, same with, same with the 24 pounder, yeah that's not bad. So the reason why I've deployed my guys in this formation is so that I want my light, my horse artillery to focus on one area, and I also want my 12 pounders to be able to focus on two breaches at the same time. So let's pick our marines and a bunch of chaps hunker down up here and be wary because they have howitzers which may have quick lime and then let's organize these chaps like so fire all off cuirassier is waiting on each flank just in case they sally general's bodyguard up and ready in the center go so let's see where these guys are going to start firing To be honest, they're actually pretty... Ooh, that's a delicious target. Round shot my 24s and start uh, dropping shots on the centre pile. Because that's four units of cavalry. So, 12 pounder will provide less specific firepower. Actually, to be honest, because most of these units are actually so depleted, it's tempting to just... To just attack. I'd still like some of these cavalry to be weeded out. That's all my round, that's all my foot artillery that's fired. So the, oh, they're not quite right. So apparently, what I've heard is that. What this guy's doing with his overhand grip on the, the rammer is meant to be super dangerous because apparently I watched in a video recently, no idea if it's true or not, but it seems to be reasonable. That they always did stuff like that uh, underhand, so if there was an accidental discharge then they wouldn't have their hands taken off. I don't know if it's true or not, but it sounds reasonable, so I'm prepared to give them uh, the benefit of the doubt. Let's speed up time actually to let. Just to make sure this, this happens as quickly as possible. Let's get all my guns focusing on one section of the wall actually, because they're starting to pick away at my troops, which I do not want to happen. So 
So I want to make a breach, and then I'll make another breach. Then I'll move in my assault troops. Well, these 24 pound, 12 pounders should be... These 12 pounders? Yeah, they are 12 pounders. They should be going for them. Oh yes, that's a delicious quick climb shot. Who are these guys in their little Eskimo outfits? Siberian hunters. Interesting. But they are losing decisively. Okay. You three are going this way. You three are going this way. Starting to make progress with the with the gatehouse. Good. I'm going to get my light horse to start plinking it. This bastion and my 12 pounders to then reorientate around to this side of the wall. As you can see, they're quite happy plinking away. As my 24s does absolutely catastrophic damage to the centre. 32 pounders, I'm like, I'm sorry. Good god. That's a flying sword problem again. But yes, that's a very, very nice amount of casualties caused. Let's get one guy up to rush up to capture. Uh, see if he can capture the gatehouse, although I suspect they will probably sally out before then. So let's pick these guys. Run them forward. Halt fire with my foot artillery. Or with my horse artillery. These guys aren't even engaging, so... I mean... So probably going to want one unit of line infantry up here to just try to catch them out. Or to at least kind of to try to head them off before they start interfering with the gate. These are grenadiers, so it's not going to be a easy task. Be targeting these guys to start hitting the marines on the wall. God, those guns have done have done an absolutely exceptional job picking away at their artillery. If these guys can capture the wall, that would be delicious. And then I would just pour my troops through the breach. Send one ooh, quickly before those fusiliers get here. So I don't want to get clogged up in the gate itself. I want to send one right, one left, and one to take over the command HQ. Go on, run them in. Get the foot guards up here actually. Let's retarget my artillery. The militia's sallied out to engage my line infantry, however, I think it will be for nothing. Exactly what I didn't want happening is happening because they've just rushed me on the gatehouse. Nope, don't go inside, run up the walls.
I want my guards to keep climbing up the wall. Good, now charge that regiment of foot. Okay, let's actually... Okay, no, don't worry about engaging them. Let's halt fire well. back outside the gates if they want to follow we will then form square well my 12 pounders are ready cause a lot of fratricide there what I want is this section of the wall to be destroyed and then I will pour my cuirassiers straight into it Charge the light infantry. You get off the wall. Don't necessarily care about this unit living, it's more about keeping this regiment of foot occupied. Good regiment of dragoons are uh, routed. get in because now they are suitably committed they cannot easily rebalance get my crossiers in it's not going to be strictly necessary so let's just hold fire with my artillery. Oh, guards are getting shot to pieces. Sending in their regulars to try head off my unit of infantry. Okay, so what if I pull these guys out of the breach? Usually helps a lot. Try actually take some units out. Can I just leg it? And yep, Threadman of Horse done. Turn fire off. No. Not, not with that. With swords. There we go. Unclogging the breach has done a good job.
Let's kill this cavalryman. Firewall with my light infantry. Good, my light inf my line infantry have killed the grenadiers. That's the power move they wouldn't be expecting to be charged by enemy cavalry from inside their own fortress. Oh yeah, I've got infantry back here that are not doing anything. Maybe have to do their own little. Oh yes, yes, please. Six pound of horse artillery. You've now got a delightful target right in front of your eyes. Light them up. My light infantry is going to rout, but to be honest, I'll make them run now. Hey, they, they counter assaulted me from the underside. It's one marine. Still fighting on. There's two Cossacks. There we go. This f end guard's gonna gun down this Marine. Let's end it. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Get them to move around inland if they wish to actually maneuver in the countryside. Yeah, lots of loss. It's not a great exchange ratio. But at least we have captured the city. So let's get some replenishment going. Let's rebuild. These guys are still on the march. You go hit this unit of Russians that have got around the rear somehow. Yeah, they're mostly depleted. Undaunted. Undefeated. Anything more? Yes. Continue chasing them down. Sir. Orders. They're going to be depleted. Yeah, Virtue very depleted. Valor unconquered. Sir. Chase them down. Yes, sir. Yes. You were moving around to this bridge point set you to go mop up that raiding truck troop proud and victorious yes, sir. this artillery is on the move let's move them up and move the guns in Mastrakhan's under siege. Can I leave Dagestan? Nope, they are very upset, so give it another turn. 
For another couple of turns, then I will move this army out and they will leapfrog around and go hit Ufa. And one thing that has to be done is engaging Alexei Bushmanov and Benedict, Benedict someone or other. So let's get Graham Rackham to engage. See, it's given them lots of good odds, apart from the fact that, well, I don't know, altogether it's not a bad army, but mine's better. So let's push them out. Our three. So we are... I'll tell you what, we should, theoretically, be getting close to the end of this, because right now I don't see how the Russians can... Can afford to keep doing what they're doing because they're just such a campaign. So let's pound the heck out of them. Let's get a slight angle. Well, now I'd like to secure this hill. I think I might rebalance a bit more over to the right. So secure that hill, but it put me in perfect, you know. You put me within charge range of their infantry, which I don't necessarily want to do. So this artillery is going to be looking for a bit of a home, and it may have found it on this hill to the rear, firing over over our troops and probably restricted to counter battery fire. Then on the right, these troops will be ready to deploy. Hearts is in the centre. Cuirassiers. I do like to split them up to at least provide some some capability on either flank, but it's usually better off you're usually better off grouping them together eventually. this artillery almost explicitly okay. so the howitzers will, will engage them appropriately let's get my line infantry out on the flank Shrapnel shot at the Dragoons, because they're coming right for us. Garrison guards aren't deployed, but let's bring up my cuirassiers. They've wheeled off. Guns are ready. Oh, missed. Let's get these guys blasting their troops with canister shot. Let's keep the rear pair of cannons focusing on their artillery. Because there's enemy artillery setting up back here. It is winning decisively. Horse guard artillery. Okay, let's get my cuirassiers over here and start to send them to engage this enemy household cavalry. Ooh, double kills here. Going through the, the going through the guard infantry and hitting the militia in the rear. No, don't charge through your infantry. Let's 
You've been surrounded, me old mucker. Enemy horse guard artillery. Our horse guard cavalry is being outnumbered. These guys are about to be outgunned. Ooh, some more d delicious double kills. Collateral damage. I like to think the Cuirassiers are caught in my army are recruited from French nobles. Keep attacking, because they're still close and they'll instantly die. Run, 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 run. Then let's turn on... Fire at will. Engage the Light Dragoons. Battle lines have been joined, but the artillery is kicking in with devastating effect at point blank range. The only troops who remain loyal are the 9th Regiment of Militia, the guards having routed. Okay, that's the end of the militia. Good, run, 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 run. They might try their luck at the Dragoons. They down one. Comes a regiment of horse. Oh, that's they're trying to. They want to engage my cavalry, but I'm afraid they're going to be quite unstuck. It's my heavy cavalry beats your heavy cavalry, good sir. I may wish to bring the marines to bear. So let's start to retarget the quick climbing units against their elites coming up to support. If they're looking to fire into this combat, they may end up killing their general. Quick climb, knock them down a few pegs. Let's retarget this unit firing canister back against the Russian troops. Let's see if we can kill this general's bodyguard. Where is Mon General? See him. It's his trumpet guy I spotted him. Can't pick him out. These are my trumpet guys. Not buglers. Oh wow. Pull back. If the general wants to come with, we'll at least engage them out of range of their infantry. Republican guards got within range, but just took a wall up in hit from quick lime shot. They're about to withstand many volleys of musket fire. They're shattered. Hot fire. Neither of those are the general. How odd. Let's begin trotting my cavalry around. 
to then engage this unit of horse grenadier guards and also the artillery. Uh, one of our troops are routing. Light infantry got to them, which is very well. So I want to pull my other horse guard unit back to safety. Let's get my quick climbing shots to hit the light cavalry sharpshooters because they look like they're going to outrange my infantry. So. Good stuff. To target the canister firing units into, into hitting the militia. To turn this guy off of round shot and get him to also start engaging. Get my light infantry to start re engaging. These guys are going to just about catch this marine unit on the flank. Yep, they're going to they're going to get within range. Then my guys are going to get ready and blast them with volley after volley after volley. As they're also being picked off by my light infantry on the right flank. Delicious. Light horse back here as well. Oh, the Grenadier Guards. Well, they are all still here. So these guys, firing round shot, can... Do they have the extreme range? Nope. Go for the General's Bodyguards. The heart is bringing down... The light cavalry sharpshooters. I could advance my line, but I want to stay where I am. Oh. Hit the guards. Hit some more guards. Holy moly, this is an elite line. But they're about to be overlapped by three units of infantry. Now putting a volume of fire they cannot possibly hope to match or beat. I can imagine you lost, you lost a third of your men in the first bit of combat and now you're gone. I'm going to advance this, infantry, this bank of infantry up to capture this hill. The assumption that these engineers will rout. Let's also advance up my light infantry. If I get this battery fire round shot, do they have the extra reach to go all the way? Nope. But still get them to engage, because. I don't know, maybe there's some sort of trickery that might kick in. Cast shot, engage this unit here. The ninth foot guards have returned. The sharpshooters are being sharp-shotted. That's not even a word, but whatever. Yeah, it's a lot of... It's a lot of fire. Again, they've all been shattered. Let's round shot them at a distance. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Triple speeding it. Let's see if my artillery can make it to them. Oh, see they want to move, but they know they can't. Moving up, no less. Nice. 
damn engineers have come back. Let's get ready to engage this unit of Cossacks. Yeah, these engineers might be winning for now, but they soon will not be. First shots in with the Cossacks. Oh god! Oh thank god. I feared that my howitzers were aiming for that long range combat. So they're leaving a range of round shot. The noose is tightening. These guys can't. I'll go for the cavalry, really. Yep, they've engaged my light infantry. Coverage chased on their gunners. As these guys stoically run past my troops towards my line. And that's the end of the gun crew. Excellent. Close victory, wasn't that close, wasn't close at all. It actually was, then fair enough. But still, it's a good win for us. Look at that for an exchange ratio, yeesh. Off you go. We can't do that, sir. You've earned some rest and relaxation, and this army under Leslie Olivier It is Olivier as well. You bring up follow up, bring up you continue the pursuit, you hit Georgie Ilian. So this is the battered and bruised Russian oh, Navy. Sir. Well, let's turf them out of Kronstadt. And now we are engaging with our fleet. And I think it should be, <laughs> should be fairly simple because their fleet is pretty knackered. Um, but looking at the timer, that'll be the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the, the death knells of the Russian fleet, I think. Radio. Cheers, guys.